Hey guys, it's Thursday and welcome to Project Life Size Science Class. If you were wondering where my beautiful face is, well, it's covered in shingles, so Ev Money TV animated me. Hey Ev, it would be really cool if you could like doodle me with some glasses, maybe like one of those teacher pointer sticks and a chalkboard, maybe some chalk and like a desk and like an apple. So most of you have had chicken pox, right? Well, after you have chicken pox, the virus lives in your spine, just hanging out. It just hangs out in your spine, chilling out, not bothering anyone. Unless you're like me and have a dumb ass chicken pox virus living in you. If you do have an ass hat chicken pox virus hanging out in your spine, you will get the damn shingles. The shingles will make you have the flu and a nasty rash on only one side of your body. Isn't that stupid? A rash on only one side of your body? You want to know where my rash is? Well, I'm going to tell you anyways. I have a rash starting on my right damn eye, going onto my forehead, into my friggin' scalp. Yeah, it's painful, and yeah, it sucks. Why do I only have the shingles in this one spot? Your spine is connected to all the friggin' like nerves and stuff. The virus travels along specific nerves and will only spread the rash around whatever nerve it's traveling on. Following? Does that make sense? Okay, great. So I went to the hospital because I had the rash on my eye. I felt like I was dying, etc., etc. They took one look at me and said, you have the shingles. Then I had to have my eyes checked out and all that jazz. So I got on this eye ointment and this antiviral, so everything should be fine and damn dandy, right? If you're me, wrong. A couple of days goes by. I was supposed to follow up in the next week or so, and my vision in my right eye goes blurry. I have this insane fear of losing my eye or my vision, so I was pretty fucking freaked out. I told my aunt about it and how I was really disoriented and felt dizzy and all that bad shit. She was like, okay, well, I'll try to find out what's going on, get you to a doctor and all that. So I get a call from her two days later on Monday telling me to go to this eye doctor, and this other doctor said that I had to be seen that day, and it was a big fucking deal. Needless to say, I was kind of freaked out. You know, because it's like my eye. It's pretty important. You, like, see things with it. So the doctor saw me, and he's all checking out my eye and these stupid bright lights and, like, doing these eye drops and things, and then he tells me, This is really serious. It's not a joke. You have shingles inside your eyeball. I have shingles inside my eyeball. Inside my eyeball. In fact, you would already know this if you were following me on Twitter because I have been complaining about this for the last 24 hours. Anyways, back to what the doctor said. You're lucky to have vision in your right eye. I'm surprised you can see as well as you do. I'm going to prescribe you all these really expensive medicines that will make it better, and if you don't take them, you will definitely lose vision in your eye. Okay, go have a seat in the waiting room while your eye dilates. So I'm there in this damn waiting room having a fucking panic attack. I was, like, getting dizzy, hyperventilating a little bit. On top of that, my eye felt weird from the dilating drops. It was just, like, a fucking mess. I was a mess. I was a mess. Then the doctor calls me in and is like, Don't worry, you're probably not going to have any lasting damage in your eye if you take the medication as prescribed. Well, that's friggin' great. You could have told me that before I had the damn panic attack. I hate doctors. So that leads me to here being all stick figure and animated because I don't feel like showing my face with all the fucking shingles and the nastiness and the eye. It's hurting. I, do, I, don't, I don't want to. I, I've never claimed to be a very good teacher, so I don't know if you really understood any of that. But don't worry. There's no test or anything. Thanks again to Ev for making me all like this fucking sexy stick figure. Go subscribe to him. I'm serious. He's hilarious. He's like my favorite YouTuber. I don't really know how to end this. Bye.